CCX Sports presents coverage of high school girls basketball. Tonight, the number one team in the state in Class 4A, the Hopkins Royals, shoot for their 70th consecutive win when they host the Wyzetta Trojans. From Hopkins High School, John Jacobson, Ryan Iverson. Ryan, we were in this gym about 11 months ago. Did you see the cold temperatures outside? <laughs> Needless to say, just a few fewer people here tonight. That was about a week before the pandemic hit and shut everything down. We had a great section final before a packed house here. Hopkins won that. They won a couple games at state before they were denied going to the state championship game. And now we're here in 2021. And the second meeting already yep. this season between these teams. Well, just vastly different as you take a look at our surroundings there. That region final game and that atmosphere, if you remember, we had a number of Timberwolves there watching too. I mean, the hype and the energy in the building, completely different this year. Obviously, you know, just parents of players are into these games and it's a different environment. And what it means is you got to bring your own energy and you got to be ready to play. You can't feed off of that home crowd or the away crowd. You got to be ready to go right from the start. Hopkins 7-0 on the season. Well, instead of 5-3, and three, they started 0-3 and, and now five straight wins. One of those three straight losses a thrashing against a Hopkins, the first time they played 102 52 yep. Hopkins. Well, and I think it was a combination of things, John. One for Wyzetta, first game of the year. Jenna Johnson coming back from, from knee surgery, so a little rusty. And on the flip side, I think Hopkins was ready to go. They, not having Paige Beckers, I think, in, in, in for years, having very talented players, they I think they wanted to show right away that they're still a team to be reckoned with. And they came out, shot the ball extremely well, and, you know, to, to beat a great, a very good Wyzetta. Is that a team by 50 points on the road? That that was something special. Let's look at our key players tonight, starting with the Wyzetta Trojans. Junior guard who's verbally committed now to the University of Minnesota, Mara Braun. Uh, one of my favorite players to watch play, and she's a gamer. She, you know, for the last couple years, even as a freshman, as a sophomore, never backed down, especially against Hopkins, especially against Paige Beckers. She does it all, 17 points. She's become a better outside shooter, leads the team in, in assists, and, and plays good defense. They need her tonight, to, like every time you play Hopkins, you got to score. And they're going to need her to really put up points tonight, be aggressive. And uh, glad to see her staying in, in state, going to the Gopher. And for the Hopkins Royals, Maya Naji, a junior, coming off an injury and having a good season the games that she's yep. been able to play so far yeah of course you know she three games missed with that with that sprained ankle but she is six foot four she is an outstanding basketball player great footwork great hands has a very nice shooting touch as well and uh you know following in the footsteps of her older brother you know she's basically got her choice of schools to go to as well and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing her i think it's great that she's back and healthy and and this should be a really fun matchup tonight, John. One of the top recruits in the country in the class of 2022. Okay, so for Wyzetto, need, need things to go right. What has to go yep. really well for them tonight to, to pull the upset and end this Hopkins win streak? Yeah, well, first things first, you play Hopkins, you got to take care of the basketball. You got to beat pressure and get into your offense. You can get good shots if you take care of the basketball. And the other thing for Wyzetta, I'm attacking. Maya Najee defensively. I, I want to go at her, see if you can maybe pick up a quick early foul or two and, and change her rhythm up a little bit too. And, and number two, you got to shoot the ball well. You get open shots, you got to knock them down. And, and if they're able to do that, why is that a shown over the years? They can play toe to toe with Hopkins. Look forward to a good one here tonight. Thanks for tuning in. It's White Set of Hopkins Girls Basketball live on CCX in just a moment. Center on a Friday night in February. John Jacobson and Ryan Iverson, Wyzetta Hopkins girls basketball. Second meeting of the season between the teams. Let's look at the starters starting 
with Weiss at a five and three on the season. Their forwards, Jenna Johnson, a six foot two inch senior. Shannon Fornshell, a six foot two or six foot sophomore. The guards, Mara Braun, a 5'11 junior. And a Koth, a 5'10 senior. And Bryn Senden, a five foot six inch sophomore. For the Hopkins Royals. Up front, Taylor Woodson, a six-foot sophomore. Maya Naji, a six-foot four-inch junior. Elena Contreras, a five-seven junior. Amaya Battle, a five-eleven junior. And Nunu Agara, a six-foot one-inch sophomore. Yeah, well, we talk about Wyzetta, you know, five and three, starting 0 and three, five straight wins. I, I was pretty impressed with that. And then I look at Hopkins, 69 straight wins. So, it, you know, both of these programs, uh, obviously a new coach this year with, with Hopkins um, and Tara Starks, but these programs have been staples of great basketball for, for how many years now? Just really good programs. And you saw Mike Schumacher in his 12th year. Tara Starks, first year as head coach, has a lot of AAU experience yep. and has coached a number of these girls in AAU ball. And so he's had success first year uh, here at Hopkins. Coached also in high school at Minneapolis North uh, a decade ago. And so he's uh, really had a lot of coaching experience. and. Had a close one against Minnetonka a couple weeks ago, yep. the game that uh, that Mayanashi got hurt in, that uh, Minnetonka well, had a chance to win at the buzzer, but they hung on and won that one. And won that one by one, and then yeah. Ian Perry by five the last game, too. So a couple of co close games, and I think that's always good for your team to have a couple of those close games. You get really good in-game situations, too. Well, Johnson against Naji, and we are underway with Wysetta Hopkins. Thanks for tuning in for our coverage tonight on CCX. Taylor Woodson went baseline, then back out. Contreras cross to battle to Aguera in the corner. And they work the perimeter, lobbing it down low, and the shot too strong, and rebounded by Wysetta. Drawn into the front court. Looking inside and well defended. That interior defense outstanding for uh, Hopkins when you get two big players and then they give up an offensive rebound as they say that and a put back for Shannon Fornshell in the first two points of the game. Well, great offense. You go through Jenna Johnson. She misses the shot, but you're taking Najee with on the defender, opens up the weak side offensive rebound. Nice put back. You can see why Zeta starting out in, in kind of a 3-2 zone defense, trying to maybe slow the rhythm for Hopkins down a little bit, trying to take away that middle of the paint. You see Mara Braun trying to front Maya Najee. They're not letting her get that ball. Gara baseline, nice move, and pulls up and knocks it down. She was so good last year as a freshman, and you can see, I mean, she's so long and quick, too. Great first step, great finish. Najee defending Johnson as the senior comes into the front court. Uh, that knee injury that wiped out the second half of her season last year, but now back fully strong, the Utah commit. Is that pressure defense. You just got to be able to handle it and not panic, not speed up. Up off the glass, up and in for two. And it's Braun scoring her first basket of the night. Second leading score on this team, averaging 17. Well, great first step and then a great left hand finish, too. Good first step there by Woodson. Gets her own rebound. She'll go to the line to shoot two. What a quick leaper. Did you see her miss that? And she was already off the ground going after the offensive glass. That's the thing with Hopkins. They have such good height. You have to box out, and they are so quick off their feet, too. And Taylor Woodson, only a sophomore, but if you're used to seeing her, it's because she played a lot as an eighth grader. So she's been been playing varsity for a number of years, a great basketball player. Woodson, their top free throw shooter on the season, easily knocks those two down. Foul was on Senden, first foul of the game. Johnson will bring it up again against Najee. Gets it to the front court. Now we'll set it up yep. for the Trojans. So far, nice job by Wyzetta handling the pressure. As I say that, there's a deflection. Woodson tying it up, gets the steal. She rips it away from oh, Fornshell. Ahead to Najee, up a little too strong, and rebounded by Johnson. <laughs> C 
Sendon getting it to Braun. Right baseline jumper off the mark, up, off a couple of hands and rebounded by Battle. Well, even though she missed that, that's the right play in high school basketball. So many kids either shoot threes or try to go to the rim for a layup. There was That's what was open. That was a great pull up, just didn't knock it down. Woodson left corner to Battle. My battle put up the three and hits. Uh, that's that's the problem with playing Hopkins. They have such good depth. Four players averaging double figures. Out of bounds off uh, of Hopkins. And I think Wyzetta, the strategy to slow Hopkins down again to maybe limit their, their possessions, but my battle gets a wide open look, knocks it down. You got to pick your poison, right? I mean, if they shoot the ball like that, they have such good inside presence too. There's really just no weakness. Braun out to four and shell. Top of the key here for Wyzetta. Puts the ball on the floor and then comes back out with it. Trying to lose Woodson. Try and a knockdown at bounds. Off of Contreras on the pass from Koth. And what works too, John, against that pressure is you have to be aggressive. You have to be able to attack the basket. If they don't fear you going to the basket, they're, they're just going to hound you all night long. Well, it's a great pass yeah. from Braun to send him with good finish. A little hesitation in traffic and traveling is Aguera. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's that transition offense that's always been so good for Hopkins. Sendon leaks ahead again, this time able to score. Had some big baskets yep. in that section final last year. Their third leading scorer, averaging about 10 a game, and Trojans back to within one. You see a great battle. Maya's working for that middle, and there she finally got it. And that's against that zone. That's what can kill if you can get the ball into the middle. Woodson, another offensive rebound, and she'll go back to the line for two more free throws. I think she's a relentless rebounder <laughs> going after that ball. Such a quick leaper too. And strong and athletic and quick feet. Averaging nearly nine rebounds a game, yep. nearly 10 rebounds a game as you look at the Hopkins uh, notes. Going for that 70th win this evening. And Woodson, two more free throws. Well, she's such a physical player that she's going to draw a lot of fouls, and she's making people pay this year by being so good at the free throw line. That ball behind Fornshell out of bounds. Turnover, Loisetta. Yeah, and that's what that, that Royals defense, it just rushes you a little bit, and you make some of those uncharacteristic turnovers that you normally don't do because you're just, it's not comfortable playing with people right in your face, and that type of pressure. Three-pointer, this one rims out for battle and unable to save it was Johnson. He'll stay with Hopkins. And probably beneficial for Wyzetta that she wasn't able to save it because that would have gone right to a couple of Hopkins players right under the basket. Najee, nice up oh, and under wow. move, too strong. There's battle on the weak side, puts it up and in. Hey, good look ahead. And there's Braun around the rim and in. That took every inch of that rim before it finally fell down. But you can see why Zeta doing a good job, John, of looking ahead, trying to beat that pressure over the top. Liv McGill, number 23, freshman guard, is in for Hopkins. This three comes up short, but the ball comes to McGill. Aguera and McGill will try a three. She is a good yep. ball player and hits here to get on the board. Well, she's averaging 14 points, so really a capable score, and she's fast, athletic, but she can also really shoot. Is that a little out of control, and they turn it over, fast break the other way. McGill up, not good. There's Woodson again. She'll go back for two more free throws. So Woodson already, mm -hmm. what? Four or five rebounds, and who's going to go to the free throw line for the fifth and yeah. sixth times already? Well, and all those attempts coming off offensive rebounds. And there's a look at McGill just into the game, good patience, ready to shoot. And when you're playing against that zone, you have to have those feet set, ready to shoot. And she was. Fouls on Jenna Johnson. That's her second. 
Well, and that's, that's big because when you're playing Hopkins, you have to score points. You have to put points on the board. And, and Jenna, obviously, their leading scorer at, at almost 19 a game out of the game early here with foul trouble. They're going to need someone to pick up those points. Woodson, a perfect six for six. Laura Hyde, 5'8", junior in, replacing Johnson for Wyzetta. Now 16 to eight. An eight one scoring run here for Hopkins. They've opened up with their biggest lead so far. Just over 12 minutes to play in the first half. Send in. Now low for Braun. Off her hands. Another turnover for Wyzetta. Well, what happens, you pick your dribble up, then the rest of the defenders really locked down, tried to deny. And that was the right, Mar had the right idea there, going back door, just couldn't quite deliver it. Ball out top, to Contreras. That only swing on left side to McGill. Into the paint, Aguero. Back out, Contreras a three, not good, and rebounded by Fornshell. Send in, side of the lane, lost it. McGill almost had a steal, and then commits a foul instead. And when you're playing against that kind of pressure, you have to be able to get to the basket and attack them. You have to be able to go back door, and you have to be strong with the basketball. Hopkins defender, just relentless. They want those steals. They want those easy baskets in transition. Hopkins with six consecutive section titles. Will be the favorite to win a seventh one. Braun lost it. Trying to get his ball up to the rim, couldn't do so, and went out of bounds. Contreras. Najee takes it strong oh, to the basket and scores. Yeah. I mean, there's just not a lot of people in the country at six foot four that have that first step and that quickness able to slide your body right through two defenders and finish like that. She's just so good offensively. Whistle, we get a foul on battle to look at this uh, last yeah. basket. Look at that footwork and then going right between two, two players, able to squeeze her body in there, finish with the right hand. She just moves so well and she's got such good footwork. Foul on battle is the second team foul for Hopkins. Hyde with the basketball, and she's in for Johnson. Boy, Woodson right on her face. Now nice. low there, Braun, it's a great move, couldn't finish, and Najee rebounds. Pass ahead to Woodson. In a lot of traffic, tough shot around and off. Send it back for the Trojans. Starting a drive on Contreras, then gets it to Braun. Step back, and then goes down to the low block. Back out, send in for three is good. Nice. Good patience there. They handled pressure. He's got a good look, and send in going to have to be that third scorer tonight, able to knock down the three. She's got five early points. Nice pass. Najee up. Can't get it to go. Here's Braun. Take it all the way to the basket. A little too strong off the glass. Rebound, Hopkins battle for Najee up and in. And again, to have your center be able to run the floor like that and be nimble enough, tough angle off the glass, able to get it. Ball knocked away by Najee, still Wyzetta basketball. Look at that last basket here for Wyzetta. Yeah, sending squared up, ready to shoot, nothing but the bottom of the net. The problem is right after that, you got transition offense, and look at Maya Najee finishing in transition, again, great, great handle, great ability to finish too. Pass in the front court and a little miscommunication there. Najee runs it down. It's another turnover for Wyzetta. Pull up for battle. The strong ball to the corner, out of bounds. Off Wyzetta. Nearing the midway point here of the first half.
Whitson will hand off. Quick step, good defense, and then the step back shot, not good. But a good look by McGill, it just didn't go down. Good defense and almost better offense. Great move and brought it back, but stopped on a dime and got a good look and almost finished. Johnson's back in, goes, gets under yeah. Najee and scores. Nice little up and under there and, and great finish. And Jenna, that's what she does. Great to see her back playing. And every game that goes by, every possession that goes by, when you're coming off a serious knee injury like that, you get more and more confidence and trust in it. Woodson on the backside taking the pass for Contre from uh, Contreras. Couldn't get it to go. Shot from the free throw line. Not good. It's out of bounds off. Why is that up? Yeah, and what you're going to need in that zone is the guards are really going to have to slide down and help rebound. They're doing everything they can to try to box out those longer rebounds. You're going to have all five defenders rebounding against this Hopkins team. Woodson and back out. Contreras will reset. Najee from 15 yeah. is good. Yeah. Well, that's when she becomes really unguardable, when she can turn and face like that from 15 feet and got that great touch. Oh, beautiful hand. Steal in the basket. Two more. It's battle with the hoop and a timeout for Wyzetta. And you forget about those, you know, Maya Battle and Taylor Woodson. Maya Battle is 5'11", long arms, does everything statistically, can score, can pass, can rebound. A Division I recruit as well, and there you can see those long arms leads to a quick, easy basket. These teams played a few weeks ago at Wyzetta, and this one was not close. The basket by Contreras, Sendon able to get a hoop there for Wyzetta, but uh, Hopkins is running down the floor and able to uh, pull away early and win it by 50 over Wyzetta, as so you see the basket by Najee, all 252. Yep. And, I, and like we talked in the pregame, I think that was a statement game for Hopkins. It was letting everyone know that, yes, we lost Paige Beckers, but we have a ton of talent on this team. And they shot extremely well. They play well together. You know, Tara Starks, her first game, you know, they were fired up to play well and play hard for her as well. And, and right now, so far, they looking like they haven't missed a beat this year. So out of the turnover, he's in and out down by 11. Braun throws the long pass ahead, Sendon able to catch up to it, and gives it off for the trailer. Foreign trailer was able to score. Oh, great job corralling that by Sendon, and a nice job running hard by Foreign Shell, getting an easy basket. Why well, done a nice job running a little bit? Had three or four easy transition baskets, and you got to do that. Battle skip pass across Contreras. Into the paint, mid-range shot up and in for Amaya Battle. He's got nine points already. And just easy, too. Flash high, middle of the post there, and doesn't rush, takes her time, and she's got that great, great touch and the ability to shoot well. Braun, couple dribbles, then gets it to send in, looking inside. Back out on the left wing and hand off to Johnson. And bounce, we're going to get a foul call here on Aguera. Well, and I think that's what Jenna has to do. They have to be able to get her that ball in the high post. For someone with her size and her length, she's got a quick first step, and she's so effective driving hard to the basket like that. Trailing by 11, they get the ball to Johnson, comes up short, and Woodson has it. Baseline left wide open, and McGill able to finish at the rim. Yeah, if you're gonna gamble on that steal, you gotta have help defense waiting for you. You don't get it, McGill able to get to an easy basket on the baseline. Whistle and another foul here on Aguero. He's picked up two in the last 30 seconds. You can see no one, no white jerseys there. You know, and when you play Hopkins, you've got to make it difficult for them because they're so good offensively. If you give them those easy baskets, that's just icing on the cake for them. 
Kelly Boyle in now for Hopkins. Again, the long pass off the inbound. Senden this time not able to score, and Boyle rebounds. Strong move to the basket again. Battle with two more. And double figures, too, aggressive. Great move, and she's got that length, too. It's one or two dribbles, and she's all the way to the rim. They have two players, Hopkins, that could get to 1,000 career points this season, Najee and Woodson. Battle will probably join them next season. This season? They might get Not there this game. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Into the backcourt, it's over and back on Hopkins. Well, and, that, and that's the thing, you know, they're so well balanced that they have four players that could give you 30 any night and if they needed to with Amaya Battle, just under 14, Taylor Woodson, just under 16, Liv McGill, 14, Nunu Agara averaging just under 12, and you got Maya at 21. So you, you got, that's pretty unreal, almost having five players in double figures, great balance. Coach back into the game, has the ball on the dribble now. Braun, Johnson, will step back over Najee, not good, and out of bounds. Now it's off of Fornchell and Hopkins basketball. That was a great move, that yes. quick step to the basket and then the step back, able to create separation. I know that one didn't fall, but that was an excellent move. You know, right now, Wyzetta, they need Jenna Johnson and they need Mar Mara Braun to take over offensively, to be aggressive. You know, just under six minutes left in this first half. Down 15. You got to try to get that lead into single digits before halftime. Battle three. We're going to whistle, I think, before the shot. I think they got Mara Braun battling there in the middle, trying to keep Maya out of the out of the paint. It'll be her first team's fourth. Battle getting the inbound to Boyle and now to McGill. McGill, this little move, and then gets the pass off and gets fouled. That'll be the fifth team foul. Oh, my Zeta that time switched to man to man defense. The problem is there's just so many mismatches on the floor because you got five players that can score, all five players that can drive to the rim. Oh, an inbound Woodson is open. Great feed from Battle. Woodson's got eight. And a great cut. She set that up beautifully. Went back door, got the easy basket. Fornshell, the Brown, Johnson, and the back down Najee. Woodson comes across and knocks the ball out of bounds. So even if you can get the ball toward the basket, then you get somebody else that can come yeah. over and and help out. I think Hopkins is saying, listen, we we know the two scorers on this team. We're going to help off the other guys, make them beat us, and you can see they're. They're, they're just relentless, great help defense. And, and the thing is, nothing has been easy. Everything has had to work for Wyzetta in half-court offense. Sending in, replacing Alea Goodnature for Mike Schumacher's team. It's 32-15 Hopkins, under five minutes to play here in the first half. Thanks for tuning in for our coverage tonight. Hopkins, Wyzetta girls basketball. I feel like with that name, you have to always be in a good mood, right. don't you? It's like, a little yeah, pressure, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Woodson up to the basket, scores, and is fouled. So what that is, that's guard move in a power forward body. I mean, that's six foot. Look at that quick first step, and then you got the power to, you know, that takes a lot of strength to get the contact, not to fall down, but to actually go through it and finish, too. Really impressive. She made seven free throws, a couple of baskets, 11 points now for Woodson. She in battle each with 11. Now a 20 point Hopkins lead. Woodson and trying to get it to Braun. Missed on the pass. Lose it off of last and last off White Zeta. Good defense by. Hopkins, it, sometimes you, you you rush things or you're not doing yeah. things normally as you would, right, with your passes yeah. or, or whatever, your dribbles, and, and they force turnovers. Well, Coach Schumacher, when he was talking to us before the game, just said, well, for, we have to get shots, first of all, right? And that's, that's step one is 
just getting entry passes and getting into your offense without turning it over. That was a terrific assist. Battle setting yeah. up McGill and live McGill off the bench with seven. Well, Battle has 11 points, but I bet she's been responsible for about 25 of the points. Great vision. Braun comes up short on that shot. Hopkins out and running again. Too high this time for yeah. McGill. They're not going to let up, though, are they? You know. Well, they never do. I mean, it's a mindset. You, you, when you're going to play, you're going to compete 100%. They do it in practice. They they do it in games. They do it all. You know, the full length of the game too. Johnson to the basket against Najee. We got a hand straight up. Got part of the ball. Gets the block. McGill into the front court, and that's stolen. And then Wazir well, gives it right back. Now look, McGill <laughs> will slow things down. That's kind of how the first half has gone, right? You get a get a steal, turn it over, and then you turn it over again. And again, part of that's just because you're rushing a little bit against this pressure. Woodson will lob it in. Najee gathers it, turns yeah. and scores. So strong and good footwork and a great touch around the basket. Well, Bryn, Bryn Senden did a nice job. She was there on the help. But what, what Maya did is she didn't go forward because that would have been a charge. She was able to just stop, avoid contact, and go right up and, and able to get the basket. She'll get a rest here, and Elena Contreras back in for the Royals. Sending just over three minutes to go. In the first half, and Battle committing a foul on Braun. So Battle has two, Agara has two. Six team fouls now on Hopkins. Well, and if I'm my Zed, I'm being aggressive. I'm attacking here, trying to draw fouls. You're in the bonus the rest of the way. You slow the game down a little bit, too. So look, look for them to be aggressive, try to draw fouls. Braun, a three is good. Yeah. That's a part of her game. She's really expanded this year, and you can tell she's shooting it with a lot of confidence, and they need her scoring here tonight. Seven points to lead the Trojans so far, but it's still a 21-point lead for Hopkins. Woodson to Boyle, quickly to McGill, three-point shot. Wow. <laughs> Liv McGill, we saw her last year as an eighth grader at Park That's Center, played AAU ball for Coach Starts this summer, came over to Hopkins, and... Uh, she'll fit in nicely, right? <laughs> She's great. And great offense. You go, you play inside out. Taylor Woodson skips it. A beautiful extra pass there by, by Boyle, too, and just knocks it down. 2.20 to go. Sending bounce pass. Shell, nice lob, Braun release, gets to the basket and will go to the line for two. Yeah, Mara was working hard under there. She knew she had the, the height advantage and great post feed too over the top. Hopkins follows on Taylor Woodson, her first. We got them both. 42-20, just over two minutes to play in the first half. Number one, Hopkins. They were number one in the nation last year. Again, one of the top teams, prep teams in the country. And here's Woodson getting the steal. Contreras will give it to Najee. Contreras back to Najee again on the block turn. Oh, nice. oh, what a great yeah. move. When, and she put the ball in her left hand, uses that body to seal, so she creates so much space. So it's just an easy turn and look. Great footwork. That was a great play design, too. I like the diagonal screen to get Maya coming to the block there. Wrong. Turn around. Missed. Rebounded by McGill. Ran into her own teammate, but gathers it back in. I will pull it up. And back outside the arc, didn't see player behind her. It was Sendin. 
Johnson, nice pass. great pass yeah. up and in for two. That's Hyde with the basket. Yeah. Great transition that time, and she waited to the last second, delivered a great pass, easy layup. Now under a minute to go in the first half. Hopkins already at 44 points. Now she on the block. Again, up and in. Well, there's just nothing that Fornshell can do at, at six foot. You're giving up four inches and just a nice turn and look. Boyle getting back and trying to get the block, but instead commits the foul. And Laura Hyde will go to the line and shoot two. And what you say, John, I mean, 22 points for Wyzetta. I'd say eight to 10 of those have come in those transition, those easy looks. So they've done a nice job, the Trojans have, of, of against that pressure, throwing the ball ahead and either getting layups or that time drawing a foul. Now you get to that free throw line when you're down 20, 24, you gotta knock those down. Second one is good. 46-23 with 30 seconds to go here in the half. And turnover, we go back over to Wyzetta, let's see if they hold for one here with 25 seconds to go in the half. Our Braun will bring it into the front court. Both gives the pass back to Braun. Braun pulls up. Nice pass going to the basket hard with Johnson. That was a terrific play. Braun to Jenna Johnson. Early her second basket. Final seconds. Najee will put up a three well short. And that is the end of the first half of play. Well, Hopkins wel welcoming Maya Najee back into the lineup after missing three and a half games with an injury. Doesn't look injured at all tonight. Smooth as silk. And her team up 46-25 here on Wyzetta as we go to the half. We're going to hear from both coaches here at uh, halftime. I have some halftime stats and highlights for you in a few minutes as well. Hope you've enjoyed our telecast here so far from the Lindbergh Center. Fans limited to two tickets per player. So whether that's uh, parents or other significant others in their family, that's uh, all we have for attendance tonight for, for this game. Let's go down to Ryan Iverson now, standing by with Coach Starks. Coach, 46 points in the first half. What would you think offensively there? Well, I thought we started out a little slow. We weren't expecting them to start out in that zone right away. Uh, it took us a little time to adjust, but once we got adjusted and found the gaps, we were able to get some buckets out of it. One of the things I always talk about when we watch Hopkins play is your pressure defense. You guys forced a lot of turnovers. Were you pleased with the defensive effort? Well, I was pleased with the half-court defensive effort. We're giving up some buckets on the on the fast break and on the sprint outs, so we've got to adjust to that and take that away. But our half-court defense is pretty well. They're talking well, and they're switching and, and making sure we contain their, their top players. When you have a 24-point lead at, at halftime, what do you do to make sure these girls come out with that edge to start the second half? Well, I just want them to keep the defensive pressure up continue to talk on defense and stay patient on offense. Yeah. In your first year here at Hopkins, how much fun are you having? I'm having a lot of fun. All right, we can't see the smile because of the mask, but <laughs> you gotta be pleased with how the girls are doing. I am, I am. <laughs> they work hard and they come out and play hard. Awesome, thanks coach. Good luck in the second half. All right, thank you. you bet. Back to you, John. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks to Tara Starks. We'll hear from Mike Schumacher before the start of the second half. 46-25, Hopkins leads Wayzata. Laurel Lake Conference girls basketball and CCX after this. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org.
Welcome back to the Lindbergh Center. Look at a couple of the great players that played in this uh, rivalry last year. Annika Stewart uh, had a terrific senior season and now playing at Nebraska and really doing well for them. Well, I'm such a good shooter. She just had a couple games in double figures, too. Just great to... Great to see these girls having so much success. I think there is someone from Hopkins uh, <laughs> playing in college, too. Right. Paige Beckers was the national player of the year last year and now is lighting it up at yeah. UConn. As good a freshman as I can remember in, in college women's basketball, maybe ever. Oh. I mean, that's a, a saying a lot. And, and the three, 30 or more points in three straight games. They just completed a game tonight against Georgetown. Disappointing, she only had 19. Yeah, only 19 points tonight against well, Georgetown, but uh, hit that game winner the other night against number one South Carolina. And uh, UConn, by their standards, down a little bit last year. Terrific freshman class they've got, led by Paige Beckers, and they're, uh, they're the talk of the town in, in women's basketball. I read a very respected women's college basketball journalist who said she's the best player that she's ever seen in college basketball as a freshman. I mean, so we're, we're talking someone who could really revolutionize the women's basketball game, which we saw and we thought that in high school, but you never really know until you, until you get to that next level. Let's look at highlights from the first half here. Maya Nagy with six field goals in the game. They're just so strong and then we're able to score in transition and, and their bigs are able to hit. They can shoot from the outside, go to the inside. Yeah, I think what's so impressive, John, is just her footwork, how light on her feet she is at six foot four, and just great footwork. And you combine it with some really good shooting, too, from the perimeter. For Maya Battle hitting a three, and then the steal here for Battle. She's in double figures. They already have four players scoring in double figures. Hopkins does a battle with another hoop there. Lib McGill. She'll knock down one of her two three pointers. This was a great possession inside. Swing it one more, wide open, knockdown. Beautiful offense. Leading scores, Braun with nine, Senden with five, Johnson and Fornshell four apiece for Wayzata. Najee with 12, Battle 11, and Woodson with 11, and uh, McGill right behind them with 10 points. Not bad. No. A good first half for Hopkins and up 46-25, Ryan. Yeah, and I think if you're Wyzetta, you, you got to come out refreshed. You got to try to really get a run to start this game. See if you can get Jenna Johnson going a little bit offensively as well. We'll take time out. We'll come back. And our second half about to chip off. More girls basketball from the Lindbergh Center in Minnetonka after this timeout. Hopkins leading Wyzetta. Let's go back to the sideline. Ryan Iverson standing by with Mike Schumacher. Hey, Coach, uh, obviously not where you wanted to be at halftime, but what would you tell the girls there in this break? Well, we tried to make a few adjustments, both ends of the floor. Um, you know, we didn't, we didn't protect the paint like we intended to. The zone didn't protect the paint like we intended. So we got to get a little bit better there. We obviously got to take care of the ball a little bit better. So I said, hey, let's go out and try to win a second half. Yeah. So when you're down 24, do you set goals? Like, let's get it to 15 at this point. Let's see if we can get it to 10. Kind of break it up so it's not so insurmountable? Well, more so time frame. Let's win the first two minutes of the second half. Let's let's try to just, you know, it's, it's about improvement and getting better and growth at this point. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for your time, Coach. Yep. Good luck in the second half. You got it. Thanks. All right, back to you, John. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks to both coaches for taking a few minutes with us at the break. 46-25, our score. We saw the leading scores. Uh, uh, Halftime, nobody in foul trouble in this game. An all-battle and Agara, two fouls each for Hopkins. Johnson had two fouls early for Wyzetta. Sat for a few minutes, but then played the rest of the half without getting any more fouls. 
And uh, but she has just four points, Ryan, and averaging 18 a game. They need to get her get her going. Yeah, and, and I think it, for her, it's just her it's her aggressiveness. I, she didn't seem as aggressive as you normally see her, and she's so good at facing them. She had a couple of glimpses of it, but I think if you're Wyzetta, you get a, try to get a couple of stops, try to get Jenna going, and maybe you build on that. And, you know, we've seen crazy things happen, right? And, and even if you don't win the game, like Coach Schumacher just said, is let's win the half. Let's win the first two minutes. And those are things you can build off going forward. Hopkins, as we mentioned, going for their 70th straight win. They have not lost a conference game, Ryan, in this in this gym, a home game, in 12 years. <laughs> December 2009, they lost to Edina. It was their last oh, home know. conference loss in yeah. the late conference. You were in your early 20s back <laughs> then. I mean, that was... I wish. Yeah, that's pretty uh, unbelievable. You, you talk about great basketball, you protect your home floor, and they obviously have done that. And that last play there for Wyzetta, too, a great set, a design set, and it looked like Mara just tripped right before she might have had a good good look at an open layup. Battle missed it on the mid-range shot and rebounded by Koth. Send into the front court for the Trojans. Johnson puts it on the floor. Nice little yeah. scoop shot, too strong. Horn shells there up and in. You know, great move, and even though Johnson didn't make that, she drew all the shot blockers to her, and that opened up an easy offensive uh, rebound, too. Great first step, a drive into the basket. Oh, around a wooden goal for Battle. Rebounded by Johnson. Not ascended. Brinsenden not afraid to pop nope. that three. Good look at it and miss the shot. Woodson rebounds. Here come the Royals. Najee again spinning. This time missed it off the glass. A rare miss for the senior. Or for, excuse me, for the junior. A lot of teams wish she was a senior. <laughs> Drive Sender. Nice. nice little scoop shot yeah. up and in. Bryn Sender with seven points. And when you talked about she had a great conference or region final game last year and, and I think really building off of that confidence, having a great year and a couple of nice baskets here to start the half. Najee comes up short. Braun will push the pace here for Wayzata. Pull up from 12 up and in, and Wayzata has the first six points of the second half. Well, exactly what Coach Schumacher said. Let's win the first two minutes. You can tell just a little bit more in their step. A little more giddy up, a little more energy, a little bit more passion here to start the second half for Wayzata. What's in the battle? Trying to get it to Najee, and Johnson steps in front, gets the steal, ahead for Braun, two more. Timeout Hopkins, an 8-0 run for Wyzetta on the first two and a half minutes of the second half. And that's exactly what you want. You'd pair it with a couple of stops. Jenna that time jumping that pass in front of Maya Najee, able to get the deflection, and I love, you. you see her head right immediately up and found Mara Braun for an easy layup. Last time these teams played in this field house, a packed house for the section final. Yeah, it was a great game, Wyzetta really Got this one close, got it within three points a couple of times in the second half. Annika Stewart led them in scoring. The Timberwolves were in the house for their players here. Mar Braun, Maya Naji, Paige Beckers, all the players. And it was a terrific yeah. atmosphere. And Hopkins, in the end, wins it by 10. But that was one of the most fun games I've yeah. had to do with yeah. you over the years, partner. It really was. And, and both both teams played great. Both All the big players played great. It was. It was so much fun, and Annika Stewart, you know, did, I think she hit six or seven threes in that game, right? And, and uh, Mara Braun played great. Paige obviously was, was fantastic. So look at all those state champ banners. What a, what a fun, fun atmosphere, and look forward to those days when we can fill these stands again, hopefully soon. State tournament uh, scheduled for uh, April in uh, just a couple of months, and Hopkins didn't get to play that final game last year, hoping to get to it this year. Here's a steal for Johnson. 10-0 yeah. run for Wyzetta. Johnson with her first basket here in the second half. Well, and the lead is 11. And she picked it up defensively here in the second half. She is very active, jumping the passing lane, a couple of deflections. What a start here for Wyzetta to start the second half. 
Contreras puts it on the floor, up and in, and scores. You get Hopkins on the board. Excuse me, Aguero with the basket to get Hopkins on the board here in the second half. When you, you forget how good Aguero is. Yeah. I mean, she, she, she'll show you a few glimpses of just how awesome she can be, especially offensively. And, you know, great size for a yep. guard, too. He's yep. 6 1. Oh. Released yeah. down low on Fornchell. Turned it over. And it's too bad because that was a great pass yeah. feed. She would have, if she could have hang on to that, she would have had a nice easy layup. But great offense, just unable to, to hang on to it. Woodson, one on one with Fornchell out on the right wing. She's going to try to take her off the dribble. Yeah. Does go to the basket. Comes up short on the shot. Now she had a hand on it. Uh -huh. Then gets it back from Johnson yeah. and scores. And it's those little types of bounces, right? And those long arms able to deflect that. You end up, instead of a stop, you give up two points. Fornshell couldn't get the shot to go over Woodson. Maya Battle, 11 first half points, hands the basketball. Agara to Woodson, Najee of the block. Bring it into the paint, backing down Johnson. Oh. Shot not good out of bounds off of Johnson who went down. Yeah. What a great matchup between those two. I mean, you got Jenna Johnson, a great defender. Oh, there's <laughs> definitely some contact on that one. Woodson, Najee will bring it strong to the basket, an offensive foul. Well, Johnson, I think using her quickness, anticipating that, able to get her body in front of it. And I'll tell you what, you just love the competing right now. You can see it looked like she might have had a little bit of position there. I think Maya was still upset from the previous play where she got slapped in the face a little bit on that one. But either way, you love to see the Trojans not giving up easy baskets, fighting on everything. Johnson taking it back, and Najee yeah. blocks the shot. And Hopkins has the ball, so couldn't get the basket or the foul call on yeah. the other end, comes back and blocks Johnson's shot here on this end. Well, it's a great move, and I love Jenna Johnson being aggressive. That's just, a, you know, Najee's length, right? And if you can't get that separation, she's got such great length, able to block that. Agara's shot wouldn't go, Fornshell rebounds. Here's Braun attacking. Missed on the shot, rebounded by Aguera, out to Contreras. Pulls it back out now, now will lob it for Woodson. Woodson to the basket, up and in. She's just so good down there. She squares up like that. It, to be able to have to guard her one-on-one -on -one without any help, that's a tough ask for anyone. And she can finish with either hand, go either direction too. Fifty-two thirty-five. Back up to a seventeen-point lead. Well, Zeta got it to as close as eleven to start the half, and now up to seventeen. It was a twenty-one-point Royals lead at halftime. Yeah, that ten-zero run really to start the the half. You couldn't have drawn it up any better. You know, and I think too, when you're down twenty-one at half. It's a big ask to think you're going to come back and win the game, especially against the number one team in the state on the road. But you want to be able to leave saying, you know what, we fought and we gave a great effort. We played well. We competed. After losing by 50 that first game, this is an effort I think Wyzetta can be proud of, especially the, the way they've come out here in the second half. Rhonda Johnson. Now she's got a hand right up in her face. Fornshell, the corner to Braun. He's always got somebody defending yeah. her and Aguero with good size as the length to do it. Now to Johnson, up, missed the shot. Follow up by Braun, uses the glass to score. And, and even though Johnson's not making those, John, it's creating offense because everyone's focused on her. She had a great shot fake, just unable to make it, but it allowed Mara Braun to slip in there and get an offensive rebound. So they need Jenna Johnson to continue to be aggressive, even if she doesn't finish. I think it creates offense for him. 15 points now for Braun. Aguera, great pass to battle. One gets fouled and will go to the line for two. 
And you can see this look, great shot fake there. And again, just a great contest, but you see everyone kind of watching that and that allowed Mar Brown to sneak in there in a quick put, put back. You give Hopkins credit too, they've knocked their free throws down here tonight too. Woodson was the only one that had shot any until Battle here goes to the she line. She didn't miss, I no, don't think, did No, yeah. she was seven for seven in yeah. the first half. And neither one of those even hit the net. Those are as pure as they can be. Battle's first points in the second half, 54-37. On a tilt, off to Bryn Senden. Johnson, the basket, and it turns, missed a shot, and Woodson rebounds. You know, and I think because Najee's had good success at block, ooh, here's a, they're gonna get the push off there. Because Najee's been able to block some of those shots, I think it's affecting Johnson on some of those short shots that she normally would have no trouble being able to make. And that was good defense by Mara Brown. Watch her beat her right to the spot there. And any time that off arm, you can see that right arm extend a little bit. That's an easy call for the referee. Good defense. Battle for third foul. Johnson above she's the she's, block. I was going to say, she's got to go to work there. She had a smaller defender on her. Three missing, out of bounds, Hopkins basketball. They need her to stay aggressive. I thought she had the matchup she wanted. I think Liv McGill was Gardner, so she's given up a few inches there. That's where she's got to go to work and either force the double team or get a bucket for Wyzetta. 54-37, 10 and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Najee backing down Johnson, goes up Johnson, gets the block. Najee saves it to Woodson, back out to McGill. They work it around quickly and then back in to Najee, loose ball and picked up by Wysetta. Hornshell has it. Sendon thought about the three, will take it to the basket oh, and score. You know what she does? She When she finishes, she puts that ball way out in front. Obviously not great height, but she does a nice job. And there's an over and back. They're going to get Amaya Battle having her foot on that line. <laughs> nice job by Sendon. Watch this ball extended. Nice little shot fake there. Watch how far she puts that ball on front, not allowing any length or shot blocking to get at that. Great finish. Back to within 15 is Wysetta. Sendon with the ball on the right wing. Braun, pop a quick three and hit. Oh, great play design. That's not an easy shot. She was looking like she was cutting through and popped out away from the basket. Her body was going away. Caught it, able to get her legs in, able to hit it. Reverse oh. layup up and in. Oh. And battle with her first basket in the second half. A couple free throws and now 15 points to lead Hopkins. Here's Braun, another three. This one won't go. Rebounded, though, by... Good nature, back out front. Lob goes in to Johnson. All got knocked away, and now Forn shells. White Zeta tries to reset with Braun. Nearing the midway point here in the second half. Bryn Senden, Woodson on her. Able to hand the ball off. Johnson gets a block by Najee. McGill oh, has trying to get yeah. it to Woodson and broken up by Braun. Good hands. Guerra back in and Contreras out for Hopkins. Shot up, not good. And rebounded by Hopkins, McGill to the basket. Oh, oh. oh, didn't get it to go, but we'll go to the line for two. Well, great shot fake. Do you see how quick she got from the three-point line all the way to the rim in one dribble? Not settling. Could have taken the three, but saying, hey, I'm a, it's a good shot. I can get a great shot. Great shot fake and beautiful finish. Drawing the contact. Foul on Sendin is her third. Going off, 
Woodson there and scores. Uh, she's been a monster on the offensive glass all night long. Gets another one, leads to two. Braun trying to answer. That won't go. Najee rebounds. Battle to Najee. Baseline up oh, and yeah. in. Timeout, Wyzetta. And she's able to just get a little half step, but she uses her body then so well to create space, able to get an easy finish. Nice pick and roll. Here's that offensive rebound by, by Woodson. So strong and great little pick and roll. And watch that, she doesn't have much. It doesn't need much. We see her switch from the left over to the right. She does such a nice job of finishing. And on the other side, you know, I'd like to see a little pick and roll action with Mara Braun and Jenna Johnson too. I think those two together can really run that pick and roll and maybe get a mismatch on the offensive side. Hopkins leading the Lake Conference. We mentioned in the first half how Minnetonka nearly beat uh, the Skippers uh, beat the Royals rather a couple of weeks ago. Then Wysetta at four and three ahead of STMA, Eden Prairie, Edina, and Buffalo at the bottom of the Lake Conference so far. But still one more uh, matchup coming between Hopkins and Minnetonka. Hopkins and Farmington, who are the two state finalists in 4A, are one and two in the state rankings right now. Chaska, Centennial, a lot of unbeaten teams in that top 10, including uh, Maple Grove. We saw them earlier in the season. They've got a big game coming up against Elk River on Wednesday at Elk River. And the two top teams, two of the top teams in the Northwest Suburban, of course, Centennial also in that conference. Well, and you just see so many teams that we get to cover, too, in our area in that top 10. A lot of, a lot of really good basketball in this area. So eight minutes to go, 60 to 42, Hopkins. Send in. Nice fake. And that fake goes up with the shot, not good, and it's off of Wyzetta. She's got that nice little quick shot fake, able to get the defender in the air and get to the basket. That time, a little bit too much traffic down by the basket. From the wing, the ball played by McGill out to Najee. Woodson back out. Najee oh. lob, great play. And Agarra releasing and a terrific pass. Najee finds Agarra with the pass. Well, when you're fronting the post and you then you go high low like that without help on the weak side, un, un, you just can't do anything about it. Beautiful execution. Johnson, oh, good little fake, oh. quick travel. Yeah, maybe just that extra half a step. She had a great fake if she could have just stepped through and shot the little runner, but look at this, beautiful vision. You know, and you really can't fault the defense. Good Nature was working hard there, trying to front, not letting the guard get the ball, but you go that high low, the defender, you really can't do anything about it. Najee to Woodson. McGill to Najee to the glass, missed the shot. Here comes Wyzetta, sending, looking ahead. She's going to take it herself. McGill, she got a piece of that, just hit the underside of the basket. Sendin goes down and will go to the line. Foul on McGill is her second. Look at it again. Good push and transition there. First time at the free throw line for the sophomore, missed it. Why is that a three of five from the free throw line tonight? Hopkins nine of 11. Second one, spins around and in. 10 points now for Sendin. Najee again lobbing yeah. it down low. Aguera up. This one won't go. Had a hand on the ball. It's out of bounds. And off of Koth, and it's still Hopkins basketball. Well, almost looked like a replay of that last possession yep. there. And it, you know, heads up to Hopkins for recognizing how Wyzetta is defending that. And that high low really makes it tough. But good effort by Wyzetta fighting, not giving an easy basket. On the drive by McGill before the shot went up, a foul on Sendin. That'll be Bryn's fourth. 
Well, there's just so many areas that Hopkins can attack you, whether it's multiple people down in the post, whether it's one-on-one -on -one you know, dribble drives, whether it's shooting from the perimeter. They just they have so such good depth and, and variety in ways they can beat you offensively. Send it out now with the four fouls. Good nature in, pull up shot. Good look, but it wouldn't go down for battle. Johnson will step back over Najee, too strong. And here come the Royals. Here comes Amaya Battle from 15. Long rebound, comes out to the wing, and Fornchill will hand it off to Braun. Under six minutes to go in the basketball game. Johnson. Three-point shot is good. Braun has knocked down three threes in the game. And Nagaro went down. I did not see if she was going up for the ball, but she is in some pain. She gets helped up. Look at it again. Let's see if we can see where that happened. Kind of got caught yeah, it against. It looks like the ribs or stomach yeah. area she's holding there. Got caught against yeah. Hyde there. Yeah, and you get a rib shot like that, it, it, it can be really painful. You can tell it looks like it looks some extreme discomfort there. Either the hip or the rib area. But yeah, to your point, uh, you know, Mara Brown looking confident in shooting that three. There's no hesitation, and she's knocked down a couple of them tonight. Woodson, turn and face the basket and score. Well, you pick your poison. If you get up on that, you know, she's got that quick first step and can get to the rim so nicely. And then if you back off the step, she's able to knock it down. So great offense. 17 points now for Taylor Woodson. And Contreras knocking it away, and then it's off of Foreign Shell and out of bounds. Always out of turnover. Well, great job by Contreras. Not not giving up, not you know, letting that back door happen, able to get a hand on it. Oh boy. That's a quick move. Braun stepping in front of oh, McGill gets hustle. the steal. Great hustle. Here's Hyde, lost the ball on the dribble. And has to come back out. Johnson thought he was going to get a shot at it. Then Najee steps in. Najee gets the steal. And it's a turnover. A reminder of our CCX Play of the Week. You can go to our website at ccxmedia.org. Go to the Sports tab and then the Play of the Week. And vote for one of your four favorites each week. Here the winter sports season on CCX. 64-46, Hopkins about to win their 70th straight game. State record held by the Boston Greyhounds, who in the late 90s and early 2000s won 78 straight. And they could, this Hopkins Jeopardy, team, yeah. Yeah, could dare very well yep. get it come March. Hopkins Great with pass. a turnover. Great transition. Johnson couldn't finish, but Fornshell does. Oh, great push and transition. Nice pass by Mara Braun. And Jenna just unable to get some of those easy ones to fall, but a great finish. Battle of the basket will go to the line for two. Oh, they're going to call. I didn't see. Something on Weiss on uh, Hopkins, and over the, maybe they called traveling. There's no foul went up on the board. Yeah, maybe he took an extra step. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Regardless, it's twice out of basketball. Under four minutes to go. Trailing by 16. Braun for three. Oh, just Not off. good. Yeah. Woodson the rebound. Denaji. And out of battle. battle. Oh. oh, what a wow. great move to get to the basket. Oh, oh great little Euro step. Oh, nice look ahead here, too, for Jenna. Johnson able to score. What a move by Amaya. Battle. The pull-up shot is oh. good. He's got the full repertoire, right? I mean, finishing at the rim. That time a great first step at mid-range pull-up. Offensive rebounds, great passes and transitions. She can really do it all. Johnson 
Can't get it to go. Four and Shell turns. That won't go. Najee rebounds. Battle will push it again. Now back to McGill. The battle. Down low. Here's Woodson facing Ford and Shell. Puts a shot up. Too strong. Rebounded by Senden. Nice job by Ford and Shell that time contesting that, making it a little bit harder. Braun, step back three, missed the shot. Ball out of bounds, Hopkins basketball. Braun went down yeah. hard. It's all right. Kelly Boyle, back in for Hopkins. Let's see if there was some contact here on this three. Well. London Salberg Thornton, number 30, also in for Hopkins for the first time tonight. Oh. Three-point shot up and in. That's Elena Contreras' first basket tonight. Oh, and she's averaging over seven. She's a very capable scorer. And time you go for a steal, if you don't get it, Hopkins just makes you pay so quickly. And on another team, she's probably a bigger scorer. Oh, she's, I know, yep, you know, no yep, doubt. Absolutely. Up and in, Johnson, tough shot, gets it to go on the block, 10 points now for her. I think she got excited realizing that Najee wasn't in the game there with that length and recognized it, went to work right away and got a nice basket. One dribble. Oh, good Thornton fight. trying yeah. to get it down low, a good deflection by Wyzetta. Send in for Braun. Oh, and Hornchill had it. Lost it and gets it back. Back to Senden to Johnson. She'll put up a three. Back iron not good. And Woodson, I think over the back here, commits the foul against Braun. I want to thank all of those that have been watching tonight. And we got a lot of people. I heard from Mr. Najee. He's out in uh, Denver visiting Zeke, who's playing with the Nuggets. He's watching. Got people in. Texas watching, yep. California, all over. So we thank them all for, for tuning in. Can you imagine, I mean, how proud of a parent he must be watching his son play in the NBA, watching his daughter, who's a great high school player, going to be playing in, in big-time college soon. It's got to be a great feeling. Johnson, oh, not good, and rebounded by Thorn Solberg Thornburg. Thornton. And now it's Woodson up. And off. Follow up won't go. Ball loose. Johnson has it. Under a minute to go now. Into the front court. Braun three. Too strong. Back out. Senden fakes the three. Now give it up to Braun. Down low. Johnson oh, nice releasing pass. for yeah. score. Two more. Well, obviously, is not going to win, but I think they got to be proud of their effort here in the second half, really fought hard, had that great start. And you give Hopkins a ton of credit too. They never never let it get too close. Slam Maher, number three, is in for Hopkins. Here's Braun, here's a steal. Maher, the basket up, oh, can't oh. get it to go. Here's good nature for Wyzetta, another turnover. And that will be the end of the ball game. 71 54. Final score, Hopkins 71, is a 54. Well, I think if you're Wyzetta, you're much, much happier, obviously, with this outcome than that first game of the year. And a fun game, well played, really, by both, both teams. 71 54 is the final, and Hopkins. Goes to 8-0 on the season. They have won 70 straight games now. And it's good as some of these games have been and as, as good a talent as Wyzetta has had over the years. This is now 22-1 and in the last 23 games for Hopkins in their uh, series against Wyzetta. The Trojans fall to 5-4 and four on the season. Teams, of course, could very well meet again coming up in uh, section plays. We've seen many times in the, in the past, and 
Upcoming on CCX, we've got hockey coming up Saturday afternoon. A doubleheader from the Plymouth Ice Center. Wyzetta boys looking for their sixth straight win, coming off a win over Edina. We'll take on Eden Prairie at 2.30, followed by Wyzetta Visitation Girls at 5. And then back into girls basketball Tuesday and Wednesday next week. St. Louis Park at Cooper and then Osseo at Tutino Grace on Wednesday. Ryan Iverson is standing by now, and he's got Amaya Battle with him. Well, I'm here with uh, Amaya Battle. Amaya, 19 points tonight. You did a little bit of everything. What was your game plan coming into tonight? Um, my game plan was just to play good defense, stay aggressive, and do the little things, get boards, and play good D. So, so why is that? Why is a really good team? You guys beat them by 50 to start the year. Tonight you got off to a big lead. How are you guys able to do that to to a pretty good basketball team? Uh, well, our goal is to like we want to get to the state championship, and they're just another person or team in the way. Yep. So you know we want always want to come out strong, play good. D and play hard and they're just someone in the way so we just want to get them out the way. So we, we've been covering your team and you for a couple of years now. I've always said that you're kind of the unsung hero. You can do everything really well. Are you taking more of a leadership role this year? More of a scoring role as well? Yeah I want to yeah because we lost P and she obviously scored a lot so you know I got to step up and score yeah. more. We all do so it's a big part yeah. Okay big question if you guys all play one on one against each other who's <laughs> going to win the one on one tournament on your team? That's a hard one. <laughs> I don't know. I want to say myself. I don't really know, but I'll go with me. <laughs> so you guys, 8-0, obviously the goal is to, to get you know back to the state championship game. What do you guys have to do to continue this, this run this we got, year? We got to stay together for one, continue to play good defense, and just stay on track, keep our mindset on the state championship, and don't get distracted. Is it different this year, obviously, with no fans? Are you guys having to make your own energy and create your own atmosphere, if you will, for these games? It's a lot different, especially for Hopkins wise. That games are always packed, yeah. and it was kind of it feels bare. So yeah. we, the bench has to get energy, and we have to make our own energy on the court. Well, congratulations, big win, and a huge game from you. Thanks for the time tonight. Yeah, thank All you. Right, take care. Back to you, John. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Amaya Battle. Leaning a balanced scoring attack here with 19 points. As Hopkins gets the win, they've got Minnetonka uh, coming up on Thursday, St. Michael Albertville on Tuesday. For Wyzetta, they will face Minnetonka at home on Tuesday, and then he dine on Thursday as the Trojans begin a stretch of four straight home games. That will do it for our telecast tonight for Ryan Iverson and all of our crew. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm John Jacobson. It's another win for the Hopkins Royals. The number one team in the state wins it over Whiteside, 71-54, the final.